All right, Evie Yates. Wherever, whenever, where would you like to go? Hmm, let's see. I've always wanted to meet William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, eh? On the other hand, I've always wanted to go to the future. See what's to come, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, wait, I got it. What is it, Doctor? I know exactly where to take you. Where? The 1970s. So you're saying that outside those doors is the future, the decade 1970? Yes. Let's go! Hold on, you can't go out dressed like that. Why? It's like 90 years into your future. The fashions change drastically. Then what am I supposed to wear? Pop down to the wardrobe and go to the section that says 1970s. You'll find something to wear down there. Okay, but... How do I find it? First left, second right, third on your left, go straight ahead, under the stairs, past the bins, fifth door on your left. Easy to remember? Uh... Just go, you'll find it eventually. Okay then. Finally, what took you so long? Remembering the directions you gave me? That's what? How big is this place? I don't know. I don't think I've even gone into all the rooms yet. Wow. Yeah. Nice look, by the way. Why do people like this? It looked horrible. I don't know. It's just the style they like. Believe me, it gets worse. Way, way worse. Anyway, should we go and explore? Yes! Whoa. What is this place? We appear to be in an airport. What's an airport? It's like a train station but for planes instead of trains. And what's a plane? You'll see. That's besides the point, though. Why do we get taken to an airport? We're in the 1970s, though, right? Oh, yes. November 24, 1971, to be exact. What on earth is that thing? It's my sonic screwdriver. It does all sorts of things. Reads maps, locks and unlocks doors, etc, etc. Oh, okay. Wait, November 24, 1971? Excuse me, what airport is this? It's the Portland International Airport. <laughs> okay, thank you. Doctor, what's wrong? On this date, at this very airport, a man dressed in a black suit will board flight 305. Excuse me, what's the next flight due to leave? 305. Okay, when does it take off? In about three minutes. Okay. Okay, Eva, we've got about three minutes to find a man in a black suit that goes by Dan Cooper. And who's Dan Cooper? Famously known as D.B. Cooper. He was an unidentified person who hijacked a plane and jumped out with nothing but a parachute and $200,000. Oh, wow. Why did he do that? I have no idea. No one does. He's a mystery. I've always meant to go back and figure out who he was. Looks like now's my chance. Doctor, is that him? Looks like him. Flight 305 is now boarding. Repeat, flight 305 is now boarding. Let's go. How are we going to get aboard? We don't have any tickets. Don't worry, I have a way. Tickets, please. Oh, I don't need a ticket. We're part of security. Oh, okay. Where are your uniforms? Undercover. Okay. Go right ahead then. How did you do that? Psychic paper. It shows people whatever I need them to see. Interesting. How did you get all this stuff? Long story. I'll explain later. OK, 
Okay, so Mr. Cooper, if that's his real name, is sitting in seat 18C. We all sit a few rows back, enough to hear what he's saying, but enough to avoid suspicion. So, this is a plane. Are you sure this thing is safe? Yes, it is. Hi, I'm Tina Marklow, and I'll be flight attendant for this trip. Tina Marklow! Is she important? She's the flight attendant Mr. Cooper communicates with during the flight. Soon, he will pass her a piece of paper. She just ignores it and puts it in her pocket. But then Mr. Cooper says, Miss, I think you better look at that note. I have a bomb. Wait, a bomb? Sorry, did I forget to mention that? Are you sure this is safe? Yes, don't worry. Watch. The bomb is in my briefcase. Why don't you sit down? Please. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. That's an actual bomb. Doc, there's an actual bomb in his briefcase. I know. Exciting, isn't it? What? Take this paper and pen. I need you to write down everything I say. Okay. What do you want me to write? I want $200,000 by 5 p.m. in cash. What? What for? I don't know, but we'll soon find out. Mr. Cooper also asked for four parachutes. Why four? In case he wanted to take any hostages with him. Okay. What do I do with the note? Hand it to the captain. I think we may need to stop the flight. Oh, why? We were just having fun. It's a crazy passenger. With a bomb. Is there? Where? It's that man there. Don't worry. I'll deal with him. He gave me this note and told me to give it to the captain. Do it. Tell him to stop as soon as you can. Sure, I will. Now, if I'm correct, the plane should stop and everyone will get off except for Mr. Cooper and the captains. What about us? No, we'll stay. When everyone else is leaving, we'll hide under the seats. Okay. Sorry everyone, we're making a stop due to low petrol. However, there will be a new plane to come and get us. Thank you! Okay, now's our chance. Doctor, stop shoving! Me? You're the one who's shoving. Okay, everyone has left. We just need to wait until we're somewhere between Seattle and Reno, Nevada. What happens then? That's when he jumps. Okay. Well, when will that be? Ooh, ooh wait, he's getting up. Ooh, nice shades. Shades? Another word for sunglasses. Oh. Wait. Huh? So we meet at last, Mr. Cooper. Doctor, what are you doing here? I thought you had never met him before. I haven't. Oh look, new companion I'm presuming? Yes actually, but back to the point, how do you know me? Oh doctor, we have met so many times before. Have we? Wait, no, it can't be. Come on doctor. Who else would be doing what I'm doing? No, no, no. Doctor, what's wrong? Who is he? The monk. Bingo. It was you all along. Yes, Doctor. Now, if you don't mind, I've got somewhere to be. Oh, no, you don't. Doctor, why are you putting on a parachute? You're seriously not gonna- Jump? Oh, you just watch me. Doctor! Now, what am I supposed to do? Come on, monk! Get back here! Oh, come on, doctor. You can do better than that. Speed up! <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to speed up? I'm probably gonna regret this. But here we go. Geronimo! Doctor, you know you're not gonna be able to catch up with me. Are you sure about that? <laughs> doctor, stop! Get back or I'll burn through the other road. We are nearly at the ground, so you can just try to catch me on foot. Oh, I don't think so. No! Ah! <coughs> Ouch. Come on, get up. 
Ugh. Doctor, why did you do that? Stop you. I knew you'd just run if you got to the land first. That's what you always do. Doctor! Huh? Eva? Doctor! Eva, what are you doing here? You should have stayed on the plane. I wanted to help. Besides, I didn't know where it was taking me. It was taking you to Mexico City. I was going to pick you up once I was finished with the monk. Yeah, but still, I didn't want to miss out on the action. Okay, fair enough. Now time to deal with the monk. <sighs> Can you stop calling me a monk? I'm not a monk. You dress up as a monk one time, and then all of a sudden everyone thinks you are one. Ah, uh, stop complaining, man. I need you to tell me what you are actually doing. I was bored. I wanted to confuse humanity for generations, so I invented Dan Cooper. A great idea that would leave millions of people confused. I mean, an unidentified man that hijacks a plane never to be seen again? You gotta admit, that's pretty awesome. I mean, you did leave a big mark on humanity, so congratulations on that. But no, I mean, you can't just do this whenever you feel like it. I mean, they don't call me the time meddler for nothing. You know no one actually calls you that, right? Whatever. I don't have time for this. I've got to get out of here. Ugh. Oh, what's wrong? I think I fell too far. Ah, uh, Doctor, what have you done? I literally only just got this body. He's regenerating. And that means... He's a Time Lord like me. If a Time Lord dies, he regenerates, pops back with a new body. Can you guys please shut up? I'm trying to concentrate. Oh my lord. Eva, stay back. Oh my. Doctor, is that the same man? Yep. Back with us, Monk. What? Monk. I like the sound of that. I should go back to being a monk. Ha! That's an excellent idea. What? I thought he hated being called the monk. He did, but this incarnation might think differently. Anywho, Doctor, I'd better be going. There's a whole universe out there to mingle around with. It's a wonder I still get bored. Ha 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 ha. No, Monk. I can't let you. For once, you're coming with me. Your time meddling days are over. Yeah, right. Enjoy chasing me while it lasts, Doctor. But one day I will succeed and become the most powerful Time Lord of them all. Ha ha ha. Come on, run! Go on, Eva, we gotta catch him. You go that way, I'll go this way. Ha ha ha. Eva, did you find him? No, I didn't, Doctor. How about you? I wouldn't be asking if I did. Oh man, he's getting away! What? He was running too fast. We would never have been able to catch him. So, what do we do now? Get back to our TARDIS. How are we going to do that? It's ages away. It's all the way back in Portland National Airport. Don't worry about that. I'll just use my sonic screwdriver. Whoa, this thing works by remote too? This place is insane! Yeah, I know, right? So, about Mr. Cooper, or the monk, or whatever you call him, if he went by Dan Cooper, then why does everyone call him D.B. Cooper? Apparently something went wrong in the database that changed his name to D.B. instead of Dan. Oh, okay. And, uh, what's a database? <laughs> also, how did the monk have a TARDIS? Oh, Eva, you've got a lot to learn. Yeah. Maybe we should just stick to the past from now on. <laughs> yeah.